on today's episode of the Arizona Desert Fisherman. What's going on guys it's Jason the Arizona Desert Fisherman with you for another review on fishing lures uh, I'm gonna take a look at logic lures this is their scented tandem rig 4 inch uh, it's a pearl color and it says that it's pre-rigged and ready to go now I have not tried these on the water yet but I'm just going to open this up and give you my first initial opinion on it you all saw the uh, video of the ceramics uh, ceramic bladed scissors that I tried that really didn't work out so hot so I kind of want to take a look at this before I actually go out and use it now like I said these are pre-rigged and ready to go they're set up in a weedless design uh, it says here on the back naturally schooling action fish it instinctively look for uh, so that's pretty cool I don't know if um, the design is all that great, but I guess once I get out on the water, I'll see. Uh, they're pre-rigged. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, the memory on my camera just ran out, so I had to switch that up. Uh, as I was saying, these are, uh, are re reusable jigs. Uh, it says that it comes with 30 pound fluorocarbon, which is really cool. Uh, fluorocarbon is one of the best lines to use for those fish that are real finicky in the water there uh, it comes with Texas twister swivel hooks so I'll have to take a look at those here in a minute to see what they are uh, it says that they prevent line twist and increases the action and then they also come rigged with logic lures patented bait clips uh, they say that the baits stay on five times longer and I'll show you those two and we will actually have a video on the bait clips themselves now very first thing as I said these are scented lures yeah I've had some scented soft plastics that weren't really all that smelly I mean I could tell that there was a little bit of scent added in there but not much with these I opened the package a minute ago while I was taking care of the memory issue with my camera and I was almost knocked out with the smell now, all of you guys know that fish are attracted to the smell of anise. And if you don't know, anise seed smells like licorice. And I absolutely hate the smell of licorice. Um, I don't like that or the smell of cilantro. And when I opened these up, that's it almost filled up the entire living room with scent. So that's actually a really good thing. Now, I will show you the baits here. There's the top one. As I said, it's a tandem rig. So you have probably about two and a half, three feet here of the 30 pound fluorocarbon, which is really cool. Use that as kind of your leader. And then you have the first bait here. And I'm noticing now the Texas style swivel hooks. This swivel just goes anywhere and that hook does not move. And you can see there that it's a red hook. And take a look at the bait. It's kind of got a shad body style and then a little tail. And it's got grooves in the tail there. Um, now, the bait clips that they talk about are actually these eyes right here. And I will show you a picture of their bait clips now. All right, so basically what you do with those is push those into the side of the lure and they kind of clip onto the hook uh, and that's supposed to keep the bait on five times longer so there's the top lure and then you have about another foot and something that I really like is the bottom lure is rigged up kind of like a Texas rig see it's got the bullet nose weight 
and another round weight there. They're sliding weights. Uh, I'm not sure what knot they use to tie these rigs, but it looks like a pretty beefy knot. Um, one issue that I see right there, you can tell that the line is a little bit crimped. So I'd be a little worried about that trying them out. Um, you know, so these look like actually they might work pretty well. Uh, I would definitely use these as a drop shot pattern. Uh, it doesn't really have any suggestions on the box, um, but you could also use them just as regular swim baits. Um, you could use these for all sorts of uh, setups. Uh, I'm sure you could even rig this up somehow to be an, an umbrella rig. You know, maybe take two or three of these setups and hook them up on one line. That would probably honestly work uh, if you had the patience to deal with the line getting tangled. Um, one thing that I'm noticing while it hits the light is there is a little bit of orange color. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very, very, very faint on both both rigs here. I don't know if that's just the light hitting it or what. I mean, this is a pearl color, so light's going to reflect off of it really good. Um, so I'm excited to try these out. I will upload a video when I actually try them on the water to show you how well they did. Right now, I'm pretty impressed about it. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do my stretch test that I almost forgot about. That's about an inch and a half past where it should normally be and nothing is tearing. Uh, you know, so they were right in saying that these are durable. Um, now one thing I would suggest with these is to either leave them in their package because of the scent that's on them. A, you don't want your whole tackle box smelling like aniseed and B, you don't want the scent to wear off. Uh, so either leave them in the package that they're in or put them in one of those separate uh, plastic little tackle box things. I don't know exactly what they're called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, so definitely check them out. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, I'll have the price right up here. Uh, and thank you guys very much for watching, and we will see you guys next time.